In this video, we'll be looking at two separate integrals, one of them being 1 over x squared minus 25, and the other one being 1 over x squared plus 25. Let's start off with 1 over x squared minus 25. This one, we're going to need partial fraction decomposition. Notice that the x squared minus 25 can get factored into x minus 5 times x plus 5. And from here, we can break it up into two separate fractions. One of the fractions is going to have the denominator of x minus 5. The other fraction is going to be x plus 5. And we're going to put the numerators as a and b. And our goal is to find what those are. So in order to solve for a and b, it's always best to multiply both sides by the denominator of the left. So in this case, it's x minus 5 times x plus 5. So the left side denominator gets canceled out, and we're left with 1. On the right, each of the denominators is going to get canceled, and the other factor is going to be on top. So with the denominator of x minus 5, that gets canceled, and we're left with x plus 5 in the numerator. And then the x plus 5 denominator gets canceled, and you're left with x minus 5 in the, in the numerator as well. Okay. So the next step is to find good candidates for x in order to solve for a and b. So the way to do this is to set both x plus 5 and x minus 5 equal to 0. And the first one you get is x equals negative 5. So that whole a term gets becomes 0. So you're left with 1 equals b times negative 10. So b is negative 1 over 10. Similarly, we'll plug in x equals 5. The b term gets canceled. So you're left with 1 equals 10a, and so a is 1 over 10. We can rewrite this partial fraction decomposition into two separate fractions. Notice I replaced a and b with the solutions I found. And because I'm adding a negative 1 over 10, that's the same thing as just subtracting. So this step was just for convenience. Now I can integrate. So when I integrate, I can pull out the 1 over 10s from the numerator outside. And so I can just integrate 1 over x minus 5 and then 1 over x plus 5. So this becomes very simple because the integral of 1 over x minus 5 is just the ln of absolute value x minus 5. And then the integral of 1 over x plus 5 it's just the natural log of the absolute value of x plus 5. Don't forget to multiply with the, the constants in front, and then add c. And so that completes the integral. Okay, now let's look at the integral of 1 over x squared plus 25. For this one, we're going to need a trick substitution. We'll let x equal 5 times tangent theta. So dx will just be 5 times secant squared theta, d theta. So we're going to replace x with 5 tangent theta in the integral, and then dx with 5 secant squared d theta. So we're going to square 5 tangent theta to get 25 tangent squared. I can pull out a 25 from the denominator, and so I'll be left with tangent squared plus 1. Now. 5 over 25 is just 1 over 5, and I pull that outside. Tangent squared plus 1 is just secant squared. So that's just one of the trick identities. So I'm left with secant squared over secant squared, which is just 1. And I'm just integrating that with respect to theta, which is just theta. And don't forget to add your constant. In the beginning, the integral was with respect to x, so I want to go back, and the substitution I made was x equals 5 tangent theta, and so my goal is to solve for theta. Well, if x equals 5 times tangent theta, that means tangent theta will be x over 5, and to undo the tangent, you have to take the inverse tangent, in, inverse tangent or rather arc tangent. So theta then is arctangent x over 5. Notice the integral, the answer we got was 1 over 5 theta. 
So we have to multiply this by one fifth. And so the final answer is one fifth arctangent x over five plus c.